1952, London's last tram rolled into the depot. To celebrate that occasion, we present a special documentary feature entitled On April the 5th, 1952, London's last tram rolled into the depot. So over now to 1952. And as I stand here on the great pavement, there goes the last tram. Richard Dimbleby. You have been watching The Last Tram. Those taking part were the Mayor of Westminster, Robin Hall and Jimmy McGregor, and of course the last tram driver, Norris Lurker, and conductress, Madge Thun. Leader, Paul Beard. Produced by Men and Strain Bullshine, script by William Shakespeare, additional dialogue by Ted Willis. Miss Thun's dresses by Miss Thun. Wigs by bald people. Yes. Well, that's all for me, so... I see. Oh, I see, yes. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we appear to have a little time in hand before the next program, so here once again is the name of the last tram driver. It is Norris Lurker. <laughs> drama you are about to see started with an ordinary 49 and sixpenny telephone call. Passengers Transport Board, redundant tram department, Inspector Seagull speaking. What? Rubbish. Goodbye. Blue bottle? I heard you call, Captain. Enter office boy blue bottle with ink on best colour and second best fingers. Speak, my Captain. Some fool just thrown up and said there's still a tram at large and Clapham Common. It is an electric fib. All trams have been melted down into melted down trams. Everyone? Well, except the one you're living in. Wait. Look. The tram map. There's still one flag stuck in it. Ah, I never noticed that before. Do you? This can mean only one thing. There is a tram still running. According to the flag, it's a number 33. When did it leave the depot? 1952. She's running late. I better check on this. Is my official car ready? Yes, my captain. He's finished your shopping. Splendid. Ere the day is out, I'll have this number 33 in the sheds and quietly melt it down. We don't want a scandal, you know. All right, Gladys, drive along the old 33 route and hurry, man. Right. All right. She's running well today. Yeah, considering we've got a load of bashes on the back. Get up there. Take it easy, old man fool. You want to kill us both? That's better. Now stop at the first couple come when you come to. Yes, the flag in my tram map had not lied. Here was the last tram of all, a 33 on Clapham Common. No wonder it had been overlooked. It was camouflaged. Anybody home? You can't get on here. It's not a regret. Tavern. Uh, Heavens! Uh, yeah. Conductor Henry Crumb. Yeah, yeah. Now look here. This tram should have been on the scrap heap over ten years ago. Hey, my 33 on the scrap heap? Uh, never. Not until you afford us our just dues. And that is the last tram ceremony in the marble clock presentation. Impossible! The last tram ceremony is over and done with. And Norris Lurker has been presented with a marble clock. Now, let's sneak all 33 quietly back to the sheds, eh? Who's that down there, sailor? A civil servant, Min. He didn't! Conductor Spanister, come down off the top deck! Oh, I can't. Why not? I'm smoking. I must ask you both to get off this tram. 
I command you. I abandoned my tram in mid-route. Never, sir. I must think of my passenger. Mr. Crump, you've been here over ten years. Who'd be idiot enough to be a passenger all that time? Come on, off you! What? What? Me off? You know who you're talking to? Who? You heard of the Duke of Norfolk? Yes. Well, I am Eccles. Eccles? Are you related to the Duke of Norfolk? No, but I had you worried for a moment. <laughs> Bet you have the Duke of Norfolk worried for a moment, too. Now off you get. But I booked a Piccadilly Shankers. Yes. He's within his rights. Good Dr. Crumb, you'll have to drive this man to his destination. Not unless you promise us the last tram ceremony and the marble clocky. This is mutiny. It's going to mean a royal commission. Then it's agreed we offer him two pounds. It's only 50 acres. Mm. Our next item, blocks of flats to be built on Clapham Common. Uh -oh. Yes. Of the 10,000 tenders, I have given the contract to F. Bog and Company. You met your wife's brother? <laughs> Any more questions? Any more questions? Good. We must get on now. These flats are, uh... Stop it, Bernie Hay! Do you have to burst in here? If you must burst, please do it in a convenient place. Certainly, but first, I have bad news. You cannot build those flats on Clapham Common. Cannot build? But I've already had the drops of... Why not cannot... Why cannot I build? There's a 33 tram on it. Well, get it off. The crew refuse to leave until they are afforded the last tram ceremony. As all of for his doctor may say, those flats must go up, Jim. I can't sleep in Hyde Park any longer. Any longer. Very well, Sigurd. We'll do this tram ceremony, but secretly and um, on the cheap. We don't want any questions asked. Good. Now, this man does all functions at half price. Here's his card. Major Bloodlock. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, Moriarty. I'll play pontoons only. Pontoons? But we're playing chess. I thought the cards were a funny shape. Please! But not, there are other people. Not in my life. He may be right. I'm looking for Major Bloodlock. <laughs> Sir, dangerously ill. Who are you? I'm his identical twin brother, Fred. Pity. I had a paid job for him. I'll go up and see if he's better. Ah! My identical twin brother, Fred, has just told me you wish to see me. I... I don't believe you. I think you're the same man. You think I'd lie about my identical twin brother? I'll go and get him. My identical twin brother, Dennis, has just told me you don't believe he has an identical twin brother. So I've come down to prove it. So there. Goodbye. Now, are you satisfied? No. I want to see you both together. Together? Yes. That's impossible. You see, there's a curse on the Bloodlock family. Identical twin brothers must never be seen in the same room together. Nonsense. I can't waste time. I'm... No, wait. Wait. I'll call him. Fred? See who? This is Fred. There's nobody there. The curse! The curse has happened! The curse! He's disappeared! No to business. Right. Now, which one are you? The tall one. Good. We want you to do cut price Lord Mayor at a last tram ceremony, or there'll be questions asked. Seal lips, bloodlock. What's the... Uh, Ten pounds. Ten? <laughs> Moriarty, ring the mansion house. Oh. Twelve o'clock tomorrow after tram depot. Right. I say, that was a very funny routine you did with that non-existent twin brother. Yes. Goodbye. I say, Dennis. Yes, Fred? Has that idiot gone? Yes. You are lazy bound, Fred. Why? Lying in bed and letting me run up and down stairs, pretending I'm two people. 
How many people didn't believe that Blood Dog had a twin brother? I, for one. Mariotti, get onto the mansion house. Hello? Hello? Mansion house? Yes, yes. Is that the Lord Mayor? Who else? Listen, guys, we want to borrow the road for tomorrow. Oh, well, let me have them back right after. Only, you see, the Prime Minister wants to borrow them for a fancy dress to, uh, 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 I've got to go now. I don't want the haircut. I'm sorry. Mr. Grum, we arrange the last tram ceremony. Twelve o'clock today. Yes, good. Men, take the beds down here. I can't, Henry. Why not? I've just got into them. Well, get out there. Why should I get out there? Oh, listen. Get, get in there. Get out of 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 there. Well, get out. Get out, then. I get... Get in, get out. Get out, 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 get Look here, Seagull. I've been waiting all day for that blasted tram to come. You are a no-good lowdown, jumped up, and never come back naughty man, you are. And I call you worse if it weren't for the fact that you're not here. And I can prove that you are not here. Now, what's that on this desk? A nice little petty cash box? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, sir. What, what? How dare you accuse me of stealing the petty cash box? I'm just the bank security guard, sir. I just brought the departmental wages. Well, I'm not interested in the departmental... Leave them here, lad. Uh, just to sign here, sir. Of <laughs> course. Neddy Seagoon. There. There. How much did you say he was here? A thousand pounds, sir. <laughs> oh, I wonder where Neddy is. Neddy, dear people, was struggling to get electricity to the tram, ably assisted by a passing idiot boy. Now all you have to do is to join these two cable ends together. How about do that, Captain? I... Captain. Hmm? What, lad? You will not turn on that electricity while I'm still heading to wires, would you, Captain? I'll give you my word as a Chinese gentleman. Uh, Mr. Grunt, don't switch on the current. That what? Switch on the current. Yes, sir, at once. Uh, that is why you treated me with the treated electric voltage. Right. Now we can start driving her out. Stop! Stop the tram! There's no last tram reception committee at the depot, buddy. What, 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 what? what about the Lord Mayor? No, Lord Mayor either, buddy. Committee or no committee, I'm driving this tram out. Jump on! No! Inspector Seagun, I arrest you for stealing the wages of the redundant tram department in law and things of that sort. <laughs> Now I'll never get all 33 back to the depot. Ah! Hands up, all of you who are wondering what happened to the last time, number 33. Never mind, I'll tell you anyway. It was incorporated in the new flats. Hang up. Oh, let me know when we get to fit another shutter. <laughs> <laughs>